Helen. This is Helen from Modern Pepper. And you're wondering, what is she doing? Guess what, I'm eating Shanghai bok choy. I mean, sometimes you just need a break from having salad. And sometimes I like to just make some um, Shanghai bok choy and have it with a glass of champs. And I know you're wondering, huh? I mean, but you really should try it because it's a really good combo. Mm. But then again, anything with champs is really good. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Anything, anything with, champs with champs is really, is really good. good. <laughs> Who am Who I am kidding? kidding? This is one of my favorite go-to greens to have because sometimes you just don't want to have, you know, a big batch of cold salad. But this baby bok choy is still crunchy, still juicy, and it just just makes me feel like I had a big bowl of salad without actually having, you know, it's just it's a lot of work sometimes to have a big bowl of salad, but this is pretty good. I know life is tough when you're, you know, have to sit there and eat a big bowl of salad. I know, I know. Mm. Anyway. This is super easy to make. It's buttery, salty with a, just a little bit of ginger and garlic infused into the aroma of the bok choy and and then you take a sip of champs and it's just voila it's party hi everyone this is helen from modern pepper thank you so much for joining me today so today we'll be making one of my favorite greens um, this is called shanghai bok choy but this sauteed has the perfect amount of juice and yet it's still super crunchy. So if you're craving, you know, a really yummy vegetable, this is really, really ideal to make. And on top of that, it's super duper easy to make. So let's get started. So before we wash our Shanghai bak choys, what you wanna do is take a, your knife and just cut it in half by the base like so, and you don't have to cut it all the way because you could just peel it like that, okay? And once you cut it in half, what you wanna do is just trim off a little bit of the base right here. You don't wanna go too deep um, and make the leaves fall off. And this heart right here is super yummy too, so we don't wanna carve that out. So just repeat the process like that so you have a clean um, base and do the rest. And this is um, also really yummy served cold too, so you can make it uh, before your guests come over or make it the day before and keep it in your refrigerator. Okay, and any sort of greens that are bruised, just cut it off, simple as that. The other vegetables you will need are two cloves of fresh garlic, and ginger. So here's my tip with ginger. So most people that buy ginger, they don't usually use the whole thing unless they're making some sort of ginger view, something, something. But anyway, I buy my ginger, I use it. So for this recipe, we just need just a tiny slice. So I freeze my ginger after I'm done with it. I wrap it in saran wrap. And you'll notice that I freeze a lot of stuff. Because, you know, I mean, I like to have stuff ready when I need it. I don't really want to run out and go get stuff every time I need an ingredient. Uh, so but this is just the amount you need. And you don't have to chop it up. We're just using the fresh ginger just to infuse the oil. And we're going to be using olive oil. And the other thing you need is chicken broth. Now, if you don't have chicken broth, this is a good stock to have in your uh, refrigerator. It's um, better than bouillon chicken base. And basically you just add some water and then you have instant um, chicken stock to use at your discretion. So that's that. And let's get started on cooking our Shanghai bok choy. Hi, now we're gonna get started with sauteing our bok choy. So it's important to make sure that your skillet is super hot, super hot. So what not to do is put your hand over it or try to get as close as possible with your fingertips. That's a no-no, okay? This is how you can tell if your skillet is ready and it's super hot and ready to go. Just take some water and just dab it on your fingertips and you go like that. 
If you see your bubbles dancing around like this, that means your skillet's ready. But if your bubble, water bubble is just sitting there, hanging out, doing nothing, it's not ready. So this was obviously ready because it's dancing around really fast. You need to also wash your bok choy and make sure it's super, super dry. So put it through a salad spinner or just let it drain over a, um, a strainer. So let's add our oil, about two tablespoons of oil, not much. And then we're gonna add our garlic and our ginger. And we're gonna hold the pan at this angle. And I'm gonna lower the heat a little bit now because the pan's super hot. And what we're doing is just infusing the oil with some fresh garlic and ginger. And it's browning really nice. Basically, you're just deep frying it like so. We're gonna leave it flat and we're gonna put our bok choy face down. So you have to do this part super quick because the point is to kind of sear it. And just make sure you can find room where everything's flat. You might need to just kind of scoop things around. So I think we ran out of room. So the last thing you want to do is overcrowd it. So if you have a lot left, just cook it second time around. At this point, we're going to add some black pepper. And I know we turned the heat off earlier, so we'll turn it back on. The heat is back on high. And we're going to add some salt. and let that sear. We want to try to get a little bit of some brown spots here and there. So it only, it would only take a minute or two at most, depending on your, um, how hot your stove gets. But what we want to look for is just these little brown marks. Not a whole lot, just a little bit like that. So it means it's ready to be turned over. So turn it over. So the heat is still at high now. This is one of those dishes where you cook everything super fast. Okay? Now the heat's high and we're going to take our chicken stock. You only need about a cup. And then you put your lid on it. And you let it steam. Hi. You let it steam for about a good minute or minute and a half, okay? And then it's done, that easy. Okay, it has been a little over a minute, so we're done. So I want you to turn the heat off and open the lid. Look at that. So one thing about vegetables is after you take it out of your pan, it's still gonna continue cooking. So the last thing you wanna do is cook your vegetables and let it just hang out and just cool down in the pot. That's the last thing you wanna do. So, wow, look at that. So this is, you know, one of my favorite side vegetables to make, you know, for any, doesn't have to be with Asian food, but if you're serving steak or fish, um, or you just wanna have like a medley of different vegetables to have, it's just one of my favorites. And this is really optional. So if you wanna keep your vegetables nice and healthy, do not add butter. But if you wanna kind of, you know, impress your guests sometimes when they come over. So one of the reasons why, one of the many reasons why um, vegetables taste so good at restaurants is because they add butter. Yeah, I know. Hard to believe. So, I mean, anything with butter is good. So just melt the butter, like so. And after it's done melting, you wanna just pour the rest of all the ingredients right onto it. Voila, it's done. I mean, it took less than what, four minutes to make this? Look at that. Can you just see? 
and this is really perfect with you know any meal it doesn't have to be with asian meal and it's something that you could serve with steak fish chicken or just as a vegetarian option and super super easy to make and unlike the restaurant ones where it, it is yummy but they do go a little overboard with how heavy um, they drench the oil and the vegetables so again try this at home super delicious with just a hint of ginger and garlic infused with a little bit of chicken stock for a salty uh, taste and i hope you enjoy it thanks for watching